Hi guys, my name is Beryl Gasheri and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to discuss a Q&A. And the reason for this Q&A is because many people have been wondering why I changed my name from Beryl the Stylist to Beryl Gasheri. So I decided um, in conjunction with that, I will answer that question as well as answer all the other questions. Um, so let's get started. Now, there are two main reasons why I did that. Now, the very first reason is because uh, I have never had a doctor call himself Mike the doctor or uh, Paul the pilot. So because of that, um, I felt like Beryl the stylist is not suiting to that occasion. And the first and the main reason that I changed my name from Beryl the stylist to Beryl Kashiri is because um, the list sort of narrows down your path it sort of sort of doesn't you're not able to venture into other things and you're sort of like blocked into other things I started a fashion line last year it's called GTA fashion house and that's what now I'm working with currently so that's what I am doing for a living and I am basically an entrepreneur by profession I've studied marketing and finance so yeah I have no particular favorite lipstick i have lipstick that i use a lot it is not specific to company or anything like that i have like a box of lipsticks so if you tell me what's your favorite lipstick and i apply them all i'd be lying to you what i'll do is my, in my next video i'm gonna show you the bunch of lipsticks that i have yeah favorite lipstick is italian I really love Kenyan food. It's my favorite day-to-day -day food. But what is that food that speaks to my soul? It's Italian food. That's the food that you know really gets me going. And that's why I really love being at Art Cafe. And my friends know if you piss me off, take me to Art Cafe. We can discuss that issue. <laughs> Ideally, I love sports cars, but because I love sports cars, but I also love big cars. I love Range Rovers. I love the Evoque. I love. I think when it comes to the big cars, it love to be the Land Rover Defender, and if it comes to the sports car, it's a tie between uh, Subaru and 10 STR and evolution six i love black high heels they need to be like really high i don't like in between shoes if you're giving me a shoe it has to be either flat to the ground it has to be very high inched heel so as i'm shoe. showing you my favorite shoes um that's my favorite shoe i love the height of that it's like seven inches no this is supposed to be yes this is seven inches then this should be eight inches um i love these louboutins oh i love the i love red bottom shoes it's the only red bottom shoe i own these things are expensive but i really 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 love this shoe yeah so that's my kind of favorite shoe so um you'll most likely find me in this two shoes so this is more party party and this is more official official are you in a relationship yes i'm in a relationship i will not expand thank you where does human hair come from that's an interesting question human hair doesn't come from a horse it doesn't come from maize hairs <laughs> human hair like the one i have comes from actually someone's a human person's head um to be very honest there's a lot that people do not know about human hair that they need to research on if you want me to tell you more about human hair i will tell you but the little short long story short is um at least 80 percent of all human hair comes from india you find 100 percent authentic human hair from India itself, from India, gold. Because I, I swear to you, this is I do not think this is 100% Indian hair. I, I can tell it's not. But uh, if you want me to explain more about that, because um, there's some things that we call human hair, 
is usually the hair from India so it comes to China so China also sometimes they, they cut their hair so what they do sometimes is they mix that Indian hair yeah India put it together with the China one then make another human hair so uh, the, the second stage the, they're like stages in which this hair goes through yeah before sometimes you find this thing you're like oh my god i have human hair but that thing looks but then it looks bad it tangles nini, nini. you can clearly tell it's not human hair it's usually like it's been mixed it's been taken through stages that's why this grade 6 aaa this grade cg5 this grade 3 this grade 2 this grade 1 now grade 1 is this bullshit <laughs> sorry because grade one is basically fiber high fiber they just mix high fiber with like three strands of of whichever hair that will remain it doesn't have to be indian but then most likely when you find grade a is like is this like high fiber mostly these days it's become just high fiber you know high fiber would last for too long yeah so i think i've answered your questions um some of those questions that you've asked i'm going to turn them into a video so that i can explain in length what i mean by what i'm saying so otherwise i hope i did answer your question you've understood why i've changed my name and thank you guys for watching i uh, see you in my next video i'll be doing lipsticks so yeah see you in my next video